So you can see, you know, see, see which one can pull which. Let's let's uh, let's do the tug of war video. I mean, yeah, but it was uphill. Hey guys, Moshe the Electric Israeli here. Thank you for joining my channel. Thank you for all of your, my supporters. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. One of the things that Tesla buyers love, 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 is the buying experience. You go to the Tesla website, whichever car you want to get, you have two options. You have a performance option. Now that autopilot is all included, you basically, in less than a minute, literally in less than a minute, you get what you want. You have the standard, standard range, the extended range, uh, uh, except for the Tesla Model um, 3, uh, S and X, you have all wheel drive in both of them. Done, so easy, so simple. Uh, you uh, do everything online, you can have the car delivered home to you. You don't have to see anybody per se if you don't want to. As opposed to uh, buying a, a gasoline car, you can still go to the website. Uh, you can still fidget with unlimited amount of options, confusing stuff, very confusing, until you get it. And when you get to the end, you still have to go to a dealer and it will tell you if it's available and try to sell you something you don't even want or intended to. Or if you want to go straight to the dealer, I mean, good luck 10 hours later, and I've done it so many times and I hated it every single time. Now take that and compound it by a hundred if you want to buy a pickup truck. I never bought a pickup truck, truck and I just was on the Ford website. Took me literally, I swear to God, one hour. Because what I was trying to do is to compare the basic uh, Tesla Cybertruck, basic one, without any options. I mean, the only uh, option is you is the uh, you know is the motors single, double, or triple. And if you want, uh, and if you want um, the uh, 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 full self drive, that's it. Option one, option two, option option three, done. So I tried to compare really apples to apples. I probably missed something, but I did my best. If I missed something, let me know. And here it is. So I compared the Tesla uh, Cybertruck, the rear wheel drive, the basic one without any option to the Ford F-150. Uh, the uh, Again, the basic one, the two, two, uh, 2020 basic one, nothing in it, literally nothing in it, as is. Uh, the 4x2 or 4x4. Four four. So obviously it is a 4x2 four or 4x4. Four four, so that's the advantage as opposed to the Tesla rear wheel drive. We, I drive a Model 3 rear wheel drive. It's awesome and it's great. It's snow and ice and whatever it is. So to me, it makes no difference. The price, uh, the Tesla is 39900 and the Ford F-150, 28000 Four hundred and ninety-six. So it is an eleven thousand four hundred and four dollars in favor for the um, uh, uh, Ford F one hundred and fifty. That is a huge difference. Now uh, let's talk about a payload. Uh, Three thousand five hundred pounds payload for the Tesla, as opposed to one thousand eight hundred and sixty uh, pound for the Ford F-150 and I really did the best I can to go just to the base to see what it is because there are so many engine and options I just kept it as is as I said the uh, uh, cargo I mean the truck the, the bed truck uh, which is 5.5 feet long on the Ford and 6 feet on the um, uh, Tesla the Tesla has 100 cubic feet for all the uh, uh, the models and uh, the Ford F-150 uh, 52.8 cubic feet uh, of storage so that is almost twice as much the towing capacity is 7,500 for the um, uh, Tesla versus 7,600 towing for the uh, Ford basically even if you go to the highest uh, model 14,000 
uh, for the Tesla and 11,100 for the Ford for the high one. Now, here's here's one that was so hard to, to figure out until I found the picture. Uh, that all the Tesla Cybertruck seats six people, five very comfortably, and one in the middle if you need, uh, in the front. And uh, for that price, for the Ford F 150, for the price I said, 28,496 is three seats is it's like one cabin it's not a double cabin with the two two door handles once you spec that the price go up to thirty five thousand dollars so i didn't do that i just want to really compare the basic versus the basic so that is only a three-seater you know a driver and two people next to him or her that's it now uh the body uh I, the, the, you saw in the demonstration how hard the uh, tesla body is made from uh, 30x uh, yeah. co a cold rolled uh, <laughs> yeah, stainless steel time. skin, <laughs> which is ultra hard, as opposed to the aluminum alloy for the um, uh, for the Ford. Yeah. It's a huge yeah. difference. That one is really like yeah, uh, can sustain a bullet. Same thing. Uh, the other one is just uh, hit aluminum. Hit uh, so that's a big difference. Also the, the glass. I know the demonstration broke the glass, but believe me, when it's out, the, when it's out, it's it's going to be amazing. Uh, the ground clearing that's very important 16 inches for the Tesla and 9.4 inches for the Ford now the um, uh, the angles these are very very important uh, angles so the um, so it's better off-road uh, overall for the Tesla because the approach is 35 degrees and the departure is 20 eight degrees that means when will the front or the rear of the car will touch the ramp and for the ford is 25.8 degrees and 27.1 degrees so it's a big advantage for off-roading in the tesla it's higher of course you have the uh, adaptive suspension and the automatic label uh, leveling of the uh, tesla now obviously the price so the specs overwhelmingly favor favoring the tesla uh, but the price, the 11400 for it's a big deal. But think about the maintenance that go into uh, a, a pickup trucks. Enormous amount of maintenance, oil changes and, and ra parts and radiators. If you keep it, let's call it a, a lifetime. I used to own so many Fords and I changed like two radiators and thousands of dollars of maintenance cost. And it is a gas guzzler. This is a 20 to 22 miles per gallon. Uh, on an average of 25 to 35 gallons per uh, tank. So uh, I think calculated for five years, uh, there is no question that the Cybertruck uh, uh, is, is, is enormously more uh, affordable to keep and maintain. There's very little to do. And all the performances and all the capabilities is just enormous. Now, the luck, uh, if you like what what you have, then of course this is a groundbreaking, breathtaking uh, design of the Tesla. And the the fact is that over 200,000 people already uh, uh, re put reservation in the first 48 hours just says all you need to know. So guys, I'm sure I missed something. I did my best. I spent so much time trying to really compare without raising the price of the Ford by even one dollar what do you get for that and that's what i got let me know if i made a mistake put it in the comment give me a thumbs up see you tomorrow